the Boston Celtics are going to the NBA Finals. I'm sitting in a dark room because I'm about to leave my dad's house and go to my mom's house. Because my dad's a huge Boston Celtics fan ever since he went to school in Cambridge in the 80s. And man, oh man, he stayed up till midnight to watch this game with me because the Boston Celtics have advanced to the NBA Finals. Shout out Jason Tatum. Shout out Jalen Brown. Shout out my man Marcus Smart. And look, first off, Will some people say they only won because Jimmy Butler's late game three, a bad shot? And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually a reason you could put it down for. But I do think this was a phenomenal game by the Boston Celtics. They fought hard. I actually thought the Miami Heat were going to win this game. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit it, okay? But all in all, they didn't. So when you watch this game with the Boston Celtics, you got to give kudos to, man, this is... First off, if the Eastern Conference Finals was this tight, oh my God, I can only imagine how tight the NBA con NBA Finals. I was about to say the NBA Conference Finals. But Jalen Brown said on Butler's three, when he shot that, I was like, man, what the hell? But he missed. And we get the rebound and you move on. Jalen Brown basically was probably like, damn. Honestly, when he shot that, I thought it was going to go in for a second. I was like, damn, this is just kind of like, damn. And... The thing is, is the Boston Celtics won their second game seven of the postseason, this time on the road with Jimmy Butler going crazy and the pressure of a systematic disappointment staring them in the face. And they survived another 35-point game from Jimmy Butler, and not to mention a near dagger shot from him. And they're headed to a league record, their 22nd NBA Finals, thanks to a 196 win. And first off, Al Horford gave so much space to butler and butler likes to drive into contact and harford was dropping his feet back to ensure he could meet butler there and all these guys were gassed do you think that he wanted overtime butler had been making those shots in the series and imagine how demoralizing it would have been for boston if he had made it it's easy to criticize when the shot doesn't go down and my first thought was when the shot was i was like well how did butler get such a clean look and it wasn't what he's doing i mean you can't you can't be mad. And first off, shout out Al Horford for finally being in the NBA Finals. Like, that man deserves this more than anybody. But, man, oh, man, I thought this was a great NBA f Conference Finals. And I can't wait for what's next, the NBA Finals. And that's going to be even better. So I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys, if you guys agree with me or if this is just me. But that's basically my video today. I'm going to wrap this up right here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. What a game by Boston. They deserve to win it per usual and they're gonna win the nba finals go check out my nba predictions i also have an nba daily show tomorrow's memorial weekend and i don't know if we're gonna do the daily show but there's a possibility i might do it just by myself because i'm a i'm a sociopath and i i want to get it out there i love y'all thanks for everything truly